Now I have seen everything. The World Health Organization has just appointed Robert Mugabe as their Goodwill Health Ambassador. But of course he's 93. And he's got somebody else's heart, somebody else's lungs, somebody else's liver, somebody else's bra... No, they forgot the brain. Ach, my liver Arde. But I'm worried about the uh, cabinet reshuffle, I, you know. Jacob Zuma's very clever for somebody with only standard three. I mean, suddenly reshuffling his cabinet after a few months? Yes, it's like musical chairs. Do you remember musical chairs? We used to play that as children, where there were 12 chairs and 13 children, and then they played the song, and everybody sang the song and went around and round and round, and they stopped the music, and suddenly all the children sat down, and one child didn't have a chair. And so, of course, you said, you fired, ne? Well, 12 chairs, 13 children then. Of course, now it's at least 36 chairs because there are so many people in the cabinet. And of course, you put on music in Lutilia House, they don't play a game. They immediately start toy-toying and then go to the Saxon world shabeen. <clears throat> and then again, why should they play the game of musical chairs? Because their chairs are there forever. Didn't the president promise them chairs no matter what they delivered? Or am I speaking out of turn, Minister Dlamini? No, I've got a problem in my kitchen, I must be honest with you. There's no politics allowed over my cooking, and I've made that very clear. And most of, the, most of the comrades are very happy to come into my kitchen because it's a neutral territory. We'll sit a bit down ourselves, we talk a little bit, and I just listen mainly. And then they go back to where they left their cell phone chargers and their bulletproof vests, and ach, sis doch, ach, liebe Arde. You know, I just say to them, listen, people, you must stop complaining about politics. You are not a liberation movement fighting to take power. You are in power. You are a majority. You've even got BEE. -E. Why? You're in charge. You can decide anything. You don't need favors. So just sort it out, my machtig mensen. Sort it out. Except for Blade. Poor Blade must be so upset. Blade must now give back his beautiful motor car. And you know that is such an expensive motor car. It costs the taxpayer millions and millions of rand. And of course, the new Minister of Higher Education will need a beautiful, expensive car, otherwise they'll buy another one, which they will because they don't want second-hand cars. I know this is talking out of turn, but I heard that Blade used to sleep in his car so that he didn't really feel like a communist. Well, now Blade is out, so maybe that is the beginning of a rupture between the ANC and the SACP. Or maybe Cyril is on the verge of being fired. Mm. Maybe that'll be the final straw that'll break the Gupta's back. Exenux. Evita, Evita, and you know what we mean. Evita, Evita, always on the scene. Evita, Poseidon, oh, Evita should be queen. <laughs>